Hi, we are going outside today. We are walking outside the house and I cannot even tell you how excited I am about it. It has been snowing and miserable here for the longest time and I have been at home. I haven't left, this is day nine. So being able to walk outside right now is the most exciting thing. I can't even begin to tell you. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So let's walk around and chat and I'm gonna just sort of check out real quick what's going on in my yard slash garden thing. And yeah, let's talk about stuff. Okay, we have a sunny day today. Oh, there's a big hawk flying around up there. I don't know if you can see him. Um, we have a nice sunny day today. It's only like barely 50 degrees. So it's not exactly terribly warm, but I'm out here in my sweatshirt only. So, so far so good. But this is what it looks like. We have sun and we won't have sun for probably the next three or four days because it's supposed to rain and storm. So I'm getting out, I'm gonna look around. So this is the garden that I have had, you know, every year basically. My daughter used to plant pumpkins on this half that took over the entire patio and went down the steps and around the corner and so forth. And that hasn't happened since she has moved. Um, but I missed the pumpkin, so I might try to find another place to put them. Not sure, but this year, last year I did tomatoes and peppers and things like that, you know, food-wise, garden-wise. And um, this time I might do flowers. I think that just having this full of flowers might be just the thing we need this year. That'd be good. I'd like that idea a lot. And the patio furniture is out and down and put away and so forth. So that's all just sort of yuck. We have to clean it all out. That's part of the fencing that we had for Gracie. So anyway, there's steps that way and steps this way. And so many people have asked for me to show my garden. I have so many films and videos and things of this area. If you ever want to go back and look and see some stuff from years past. Wow, look at all the green, I don't want to say mold. I don't even know what would that be. What is that? Um, algae? No. Um, what am I trying to say? The greenness of the stones. We always power wash them off every summer or spring. And that definitely needs to be done again this year. Yuck. But yeah, all the leaves we need to rake out of the ground cover. And we have all sorts of things that will pop up there. But we need to have some more pop up. Look, these are coming up. These are hostas, I believe, if I recall. This bench looks like it has sunk into the ground a few inches, so we're going to dig that up and power wash it off, and yeah, one of my pots broke. Don't know how or when that happened, but at least my Talavera one didn't. And yeah, so nice to just be out here. I need to clean this out. Okay, this is what we're gonna have to do sometimes, guys, and it could be gross in there, I don't even know, but look how filled with twigs it is. I mean, it's so full. Oh, this one's not. Maybe just that level is. This guy made a big picture window in his condo. You see, that's just filled. So we need to take the roof part off and clean that out. Well, that's Georgia, if you hear that dog. Georgia lives down there. And she's ferocious. She's about 12 pounds of wiry ferociousness. Oh, I think maybe she's down there right now. But these are the woods. Okay, the squirrel. You remember the squirrel I was telling you about that is searching and searching and searching for his nuts? or whatever he's buried. Sounds funny. Yeah, all the little divots and stuff are from the squirrel. Seriously. That dude was relentless. I gave him more walnuts. Oh, I see. Is that a chicane? I think that's a chicane. Hello. So yeah, these are the chairs that I love to sit in and stare at the woods in the summertime and read and look what the deer have done. 
this is not wood we've had wood ones and they've eaten them completely so we got the you know the kind of plasticky kind that look like wood and they still have completely gnawed off the corners isn't that wild of all the edges i know it's just crazy look even on this edge here <sighs> oh my goodness wow in the top here Oh, crazy. So we need to power wash all of this. We need to fix that fancy thing for when Gracie comes over. She can be out there without us having to worry too much. We need to clean out all the awfulness. Hopefully things will start blooming again very soon. summer you can't even see that down there oh there's let's see if i can see there we go let's see the others so let's chat look i'm wearing my kawaii sweatshirt we went in like i guess 2007 so it's been a very long time we took the kids, it was a good time. So whenever I wear my sweatshirt, I always remember the fun trip. We'd love to be in Hawaii right now. It's chili peppers out here. So let's chat, how are you guys doing? Generally, I've been putting up videos of just whatever during the day so that, um, you know, there's something and we're all kind of somewhat entertained. It helps me to get to talk to you guys and show you what I'm up to. And I've had several of you say that you like, um, you know, hearing what is going on here. So hopefully it's okay. It's probably extremely boring to some. Um, I have not been putting up videos about, you know, bags and clothing, and any hauls, anything like that, because it just seems insensitive. I have had many, many people though asking me to just do kind of videos as normal. Um, and I may just sort of do some of that um, sometime. I don't know, I'm probably gonna get a whole lot of hatred if I do, because it, it is a very sensitive time financially for everybody. Everybody's losing money if they have anything in the stock market or whatever. Some people, it's dire. I, I totally understand that, and my heart just goes out so much to all the people that are really struggling right now in you know health-wise and um, monetarily and so forth. It's bad, it's very sad, it's a sad time, but I'm doing everything I can to stay healthy, happy, and positive. And I know you probably are too. So that's good. I mean, what else do you have, right? So being grateful every single day for every single thing. That's what I do. Not preaching at you. You do what you want to do. <laughs> that's what I do. So anyway, my nail polish has lasted pretty well considering it's been, we're on day four, I think now of this polish and it's the Dazzle Dry and it is doing really well. And I've been cooking and cleaning and scraping things. And, you know, I use my fingernails like crazy, so I'm not at all delicate with them. I don't even put on gloves to do the dishes. I have gloves and occasionally I'll remember to, but normally I don't. So, um, yeah, there's that too. So are you guys doing okay? Are you um, struggling trying to get through this? Are you struggling um, being stir crazy if you're used to being out of the house and now you're in the house or are you not able to be in the house? Are you having to still go to work for a while? Uh, I hope you're able to stay home or stay put wherever you, wherever you are because the more you go out, the more chances you get of getting something awful. But anyway, enough about that. I'm just thrilled to death that it's still sunny. I mean, that it's sunny. Oh my gosh, it feels so, oh, I can't even tell you. The sun on my face right now feels so good. Oh, just that warmth. I have not felt it in a long time. This is my chance. My chance to feel that sun. It feels so good. I really should clean out the birdhouse though. Yeah. Because I keep missing it. Every year I miss the opportunity and like birds come and re-nest and stuff and then I can't. So that's something I should do. Let's see, I would need like a ladder. I need to figure out how to get the top off. I'd need gloves for that for sure. I might find yucky stuff in there. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I can talk my husband into coming out and doing it with me. 
we're still social distancing, he and I. He has been working in um, Michigan off and on. He'll, he, he's been coming home for the weekends until about a week ago. Yeah, he's back and he's kind of social distancing because he wasn't sure. Michigan got hit pretty hard too. Um, and he wasn't sure with the traveling, what he contracted and what he got, you know? So he's kind of, I mean, he's here and he's with us, but we're six feet apart and he's sleeping in the guest room and just being extra, extra careful because, wow, I didn't, you know, this is another thing. I haven't really told, you know, the world really much, but, um, some people know and I've mentioned it in comments or whatever, but I'm being extra careful uh, because I had swine flu. I had the H1N1 thing in 2009. And um, at the time I was working in a middle school and a, a couple kids there had it, but they immediately went home and stuff. I don't know how I got it. I really, really don't. Um, the people that worked real close next to me didn't, but I did. And I, uh, we lived in a different house at the time and I had a sunroom that I basically loved and lived in. And I did, I like quarantined myself in the sunroom for two weeks and I slept on the couch in there and everything. And I stayed there. I did not want my kids to get it. I didn't want my, you know, husband to get it. He was still working, of course, and all that. Um, so I just kind of blocked myself off. And when they went to school for the day and for work, you know, to work, I would get food and, you know, do things I needed to do in the house and shower and stuff, and then clean, clean up everything I touched and go back and sequester myself in the guest room. I mean, in the, in the sunroom. And, um, that was a scary time. I didn't like it at all. I mean, there was, there were times I remember laying there at night, just really trying to breathe and it hurt and it was difficult. And I had to, you know, it was scary. It was definitely scary. And I do have some granulomas and things like that going on in my left lung after that so it's easier for me to catch respiratory things and it's much harder for me to get rid of them once I do catch them so I'm being extra extra cautious here and so is my family so that's why we're being so strict about it but yeah this it'll pass this time will pass just try to stay healthy get through it tough stuff okay this time truly enough about that I hope you're fine <laughs> I think I actually might go take a little bit of a walk in the neighborhood. I can just wave at people if I see them six feet apart, right? It's too nice not to. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go do. And then I can bring the mail in when I come. So that'll be good. Oh, oh yeah, the birdhouse. I just saw it again. Ooh, I gotta do that. We'll see. I wanna take a walk. <laughs> What are you doing there, Jen? Okay, this is not easy. The, the lid, the top does not come off. It's like... Cocked on. Do you need to shut up? <laughs> <laughs> it's cocked on. It is. My husband doesn't have any better ideas either. <laughs> What is this? I have other possible tools that are no better. Kitchen tongs. No, they won't fit and then I won't be able to use them again in the kitchen. You have 15 of them. I don't care. I need all 15. There are times I don't have enough. Nothing. I'm getting nothing. Fingers? They don't, they don't go so far. What if I pull out a carcass? Bird Other animals flu can we get? <laughs> Swine. Bird. It's gone. Let's I'm, I'm not Let's caring for it. Let's do a, an update. I think it looks perfect for a bird now. No, it can't even, a bird can't fit in there. That isn't comfortable. Why someone decided to clog it all up, I don't know. I mean, why would anyone even do this? Anyone by, I mean birds. I 
couldn't find a, I know the company that this is made by, but I couldn't find any number to call for the actual manufacturer people to ask them how they're supposed to do this. Okay, I came in. I can't get any more. And it's filled. You're getting that stuff all over the ground. Uh, <laughs> all right, I'll pick every single individual one up afterwards. You're doing a good job. Thank you. These birds better appreciate me. It's not working. like there's plenty of room for a bird to make a nest in there. There's already some twigs and things left, but at least there's a space big enough. It's, got, it's like a good starter home. It's like furnished. Okay, good deal. This one's the hardest. This one I got cleaned up pretty well. Okay. So I did that the best I could. As you can see, they were jam packed with twigs. There's no way a bird could get in there, much less have a family. So I cleaned out the best I could. Um, basically, just so that you know, bird houses are supposed to be cleaned out in September after the birds like leave or September, October, when they leave for like to fly away places. Um, yeah, that didn't happen here. So I wanted to qu quickly get it before the birds came in. So I thought I'd do the best I could. You're also supposed to clean it out with like bleach and all this kind of stuff. I can't figure out how to open it. Neither can my husband. It's, I've, we unscrewed things and things just, it doesn't, and it's two layers. So even if you can get in the bottom part, you can't get in the top. It's, so I just did the best I could. It's not going to get disinfected. Um, yeah, so there's that. But anyway, there's space for the birds to make another nest if they want to. Um, I see birds in there all the time, so they don't seem to, you know, have a problem living in it if there's space, so now there is. Anyway, kind of fun. Now they have their own furnished apartment because it's like semi-furnished, you know? But there's space now. So. <laughs> that was kind of fun. It was so nice to get out and do something this spring so far. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. Thanks.